ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਮਾਇ ਨੇਮ ਇਜ਼ ਸਤਵਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਵਾਰਮਲੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਵਾਰਮ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਐਂਟਾਇਰ ਸੰਗਤ ਇਨ ਟੁਡੇਸ ਟਾਕ ਟੁਡੇ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਪਿਲਰਸ ਆਫ ਸਿੱਖਿਜ਼ਮ ਐਂਡ ਆਵਰ ਮੇਨ ਫੋਕਸ ਇਜ਼ ਔਨ ਮੇਨ ਪਿਲਰ ਇਜ਼ ਸੇਵਾ ਸੇਵਾ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਟੌਪਿਕ and it is the basic and main pillar whenever we are making or if we are thinking to make a building to build a building we always need strong foundation so in the same way we need strong pillars as well so today we will try to understand few questions and we need to ask these questions to ourselves are we aware about these things first what is seva and why seva is a pillar of sikhism and what are the types of seva and it's a movement when we are not able to get benefit maybe why seva becomes fruitless and what are the benefits or what can we attain from seva in the light of gurbani we will try to understand all these things today itself first question is what is seva seva ki hai what is seva if we take an example or if we take guidance from mahan kosh then pai kan singh naba writes voluntary services is seva when we are performing something without taking any money that is kind of a seva that is also a type of seva another thing he said habit as well habit could become seva as well offering worship meditation on the name of lord that is also part of seva and if we go to the sikh rahat maryada or code of conduct then the meaning of seva is voluntary servicing services and if we are serving in langar cleaning shoes cleaning any floor all those things are the part of seva so we normally see all these things performing people are performing sangat are performing in the gurudwara so then what comes to our mind the seva means voluntary service at gurudwara only actually not it's not only related to gurudwara guru nanak sahib ji teaches us vich duniya sev kamai hai ta dargah baisan pai hai vich duniya duniya means in this world wherever if we are thinking someone is in need if we can offer something because we are coming to gurudwara to learn something but those things we need to perform in the real world which duniya sev kamai hai ta dargah baisan pai not only if we are coming to gurudwara and we are helping them that is not done it's just a part of this but there are few more things that we need to perform in the entire world which duniya sev kamaiye ta dargah baisan pai sometimes we just feel if i am going to gurudwara sahib and if i am performing few things which means i am done no we need to take assignment from gurudwara sahib and need to perform in the real world ta dargah baisan pai hai guru ji saying then only you will get the seat with me kah nanak baah ludaiya baah ludaiya means i'll open my both of the, my arms and i'll welcome you you can come into my arms kah nanak baah ludaiya so so that is why we need to know the concept of seva most of the time we just think while going to gurudwara if we are cleaning utensils 
if we are cleaning floors and if we are doing some seva so we are done so there are few more different aspects as well now why should we perform seva we all are looking for happiness we all want some peace in our life bin har seva sukh nahi ho sakat aavah jaye bin har seva sukh nahi so guru ji saying guru arjan sahib ji saying bin means without the serving of lord we cannot get peace and we all want to attain the position of peace peace of mind we want happiness in our life so that will come from seva sat gur seva na kar hai phir phir pachu taane so then we will regret if we will not perform it then we will regret it later and guru amar das ji says aisa kam mule na ki chai jit ant pachu tai hai don't do those things for that we need to regret later most of the times we know what should we do what is good or what is bad still we perform those things so gurbani says don't do that aisa kam mule na ki chai jit ant pachu tai hai for that if you have to regret later try to avoid those things so sukh happiness that we can attain by seva now thing comes in our mind what kinds of seva how many types are there of seva then gurbani teaches us anek paant kar seva kariye jiyo pran tan aage tariye anek anek means so many there are several ways to perform seva and no specific guideline on how to perform seva anek paant there are many different ways kar seva kariye jiyo means by heart by heart we can do seva pran we can put our body or we can include our body as well tan or we can use money as well in the seva so basically there are many types of seva anek paant kar seva kariye but still there are three main things jiyo pran tan aage tariye jiyo means heart pran means our life our body tan means financially as we see pai kanaiya ji pai kanaiya ji performed seva even we can say by going out of the box he did not think i need to do the seva for a sick person no even the six were fighting with enemies pai kanaiya ji used to give water to those people as well to those enemies as well that is a different thing if we are helping to just specific person but in the seva there is nothing like this that we need to concentrate on specific one person there is no specific one type of seva there is no specific community as we can see in day to day's life if someone comes to gurudwara sahib doesn't matter to which caste he belongs doesn't matter to which religion he belongs he will get food for sure he will get kada prasad for sure he will get food to eat water to drink and all other things whichever are available so still we can see these things were there in the six from the beginning pai kanaiya ji performed seva really on the different level by going out of the box even six complained about pai kanaiya ji to guru gobind singh ji that we are killing he is helping our enemies but pai kanaiya ji said i don't see any enemy i see your face in those faces as well so i am giving water to just to you only 
I am giving my water to Guru Gobind Singh Ji. I am not giving to anyone else. Sab Gobind hai, sab Gobind hai. Gobind bin nahi koe. I don't see any other face. I just see your face, your presence in everyone. So if you are my guru, I'm your Sikh. If you are asking for water, I should do it. So I'm doing it. Guru Gobind Singh Ji hugged that moment. This Pai Kanaya Ji got hugged from Shri Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Now we may say it's, it was a different time. What's about day-to-day's -day life? Then again, we have one example from day-to-day's -day life. Pagat Puran Singh Ji. He was the one who helped handicapped, widowed, and all kind of less fortunate people. He helped. Although Pagat Puran Singh was not a rich man, he did not have money. He would go door to door to collect donations. Can we think what kind of dedication he had? He used to go to door to door to collect money. And with that money, he used to buy medicines. He used to buy food and all those needed things, whichever all those people were needed. So he went door to door so that he can help someone else. Man, it was in his heart. Seva comes from heart. If you don't want to do it, you cannot do it. It's very hard. So his heart was there. Body he used to go door to door to collect donations. And later he used to buy medicines. He was not getting any benefit. He was just serving humanity. And he never asked a religion of a person. So we all may be aware about Mother Teresa, but we forgot about Pagat Puran Singh. He really did a fantastic job. Even we can say, no, we cannot compare him with anyone else the way he did it. He was not getting any financial services from someone, from, go from government or any rich people. Later, people started helping him, but starting from scratch, from the beginning, he was alone, or we can say Pagat Puran Singh Ji and Vahikru. He, has, he had intentions to serve. So Tan, he also, whatever money he was able to get, he used to spend those money to all those people. And he helped them with the treatment. And still, he was very nice, very calm with everyone. This is also a part of Seva. Now, the first part of seva is basically is tan di seva. Tan means body. We can serve anyone with our body. How? Kamava tinki kar sarir pavit hue. Guru Arjan Sahib Maharaj. What he says? Kamava tinki kar sarir pavit hue. If you want to make your body pure. How? How is it possible? Kamama tinki kar. If you can earn seva, if you can earn service, then only your body will be pure. Pakha pani peace, bigsa pad toy. Doesn't matter what you are doing. Maybe you are using a fan. At that time, there was no fan. So by hand, people used to do it. Pani, you can provide water. Peace, bigsa, pair, toe. Washing their feet. Or you, maybe grinding some, something. All those things come under seva. Now how can we do or how can we perform seva? Now Guruji is telling us, elaborating all those things. Pani, pakha, peace, bigsa, pair, toe. That is also seva. He's saying if you are cleaning blankets, chadar, tapad, 
on which we sit in the gurudwara sahib so that part if you are cleaning it that is also seva tudi naya tudi charan tud does from feet the one who is coming to gurudwara religious people then again guru ji tells us akha feri pani tova har jan ke pisan pis kamawa very happy it's not like i have to do happily i am doing it har jan ke pis kamawa even there is a story in shri guru about shri guru gobind singh ji shri guru gobind singh ji asked for a glass of water a man came with a glass of water but his hands were so soft then guru ji asked him your hands are so soft didn't you do any seva in your life then that man replied i never performed any seva in my entire life i have enough money and servants i never put my glass even from one place to another i never did it just because you asked that is why i just bring a glass of water for you and this sakhi says guru sahib ji did not drink that water why guru ji said if you did not perform any seva in your entire life then you just wasting your life there is no use of it पखा फेरी पानी टोवा जो दे वह सो खाई बिन सेवा त्रिग हाथ पैर त्रिग मीन्स लहनत नो बेनिफिट बिन सेवा त्रिग हाथ पैर होर नहफल करने योर बॉडी कैन नॉट बी प्योर विदाउट डूइंग सेवा विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट्स नॉट लाइक दिस गुरु जी इज टेलिंग अस टू परफॉर्म सेवा guru ji himself did it there is a one example of shri guru amar das ji even guru sahib gurpurab is also coming on 15th of may every gurudwara is going to celebrate it so in the life of shri guru amar das ji we see he performed seva with his body for 12 years it's not a small time at all he became guru at the age of 74 but he started performing seva from the age of 62 he used to bring water in a pot from bias to khadur sahib almost 4 or 5 miles every day he used to walk he was doing it continuously perfect example in front of us we perform seva for 2 3 days maybe a week or two and we started seeing i did not attain whatever i wanted there is no use of it but if we see shri guru amar das ji himself performed seva for 12 years such a long time then he became our third guru so when seva trig hath par so this is a seva that we can do by body now someone may be not physically fit maybe not in situation to perform seva by body this is also possible if we say vin seva trig hath pair hor nafal karni body is kind of useless if we are not performing seva with our body so it's also possible maybe because of any disease any problem or any kind of any situation maybe he is not able to perform seva with his body then man di seva still we have one another thing that we can do it what oy purkh prani tan jan hai upadesh kar hai par upkariya now this is a another seva oy purkh prani tan jan tan jan jan means das servant so those the one who is bringing someone to the sangat that is also a seva man di seva if we are sharing our knowledge that is a man di seva if we are giving any good sakhis to someone or sharing those stories if uh, with our words if we are helping someone to make his life beautiful that is man di seva 
एंड अबाउट दिस सेवा भाई गुरुदास जी से जैसे सत मंदिर कंचन के उसार दी ने तैसा पुन सिख को एक शब्द सिखाए का एक जैसे सत मंदिर सम इंटरप्रिटेट सत एज एन हंड्रेड बट इवन इफ वी काउंट सत एज एन सेवन इन संस्कृत सत मीन्स हंड्रेड इन पंजाबी सत मीन्स सेवन इवन इफ यू टेक एज एन सेवन स्टिल इट्स a big amount or big count seven temples with gold if we are building seven temples with gold that kind of pun that kind of thing that we can attain by teaching one shabad of gurbani to someone else how easy if we cannot perform by body although it's required by all those things if we are capable we must do by body by mandi seva as well putting good thoughts in someone else i have seen people those who always try to encourage other people to do good they try to bring them in the sangat they always try to bring them in the religious lectures they always try i met few people here as well they are so dedicated so happy to do it so this is pai gurudas ji Rewards by saying, जैसे सत मंदिर कंचन के उसार दीने कंचन means gold, seven gold temples is like if you are helping someone to learn even a one शब्द सिख को एक शब्द सिखाए का गुर की सेवा शब्द विचार this is the सेवा गुर दी सेवा what is गुरु सेवा शब्द विचार so we may say there is no bigger virtue than encouraging someone to join in sat sangat and there is no bigger sin than bringing someone to join bad company so there is no bigger virtue than bringing someone to join in sat sangat and there is no bigger sin than bringing someone to join bad company so we may share we must share we should share good virtues with someone else now the third thing tan di seva if we are having enough money or actually doesn't matter how much money do we have we need to give our daswant even one paisa is enough even one paisa pai gurdas ji says पावनी भगत भाए कौडी अगर भाग राखे ताहे गुर सर्ब निधान दान देत है कौडी वन पैसा वन पैनी इफ यू कैन नॉट गिव मच मोर इफ यू डोंट अफोर्ड डजेंट मैटर इंटेंशन शुड बी देयर सो इफ यू हैव प्योर इंटेंशन इवन वन पैनी पावनी भगत पाओ कौडी अगर भाग राखे ताहे गुर सर्ब निधान दान देत है इफ यू आर डूइंग इन दैट वे गुरमुख सब पवित्र है तन संपै माया देन योर मनी इज सैक्रेट वेल्थ हर अर्थ जो खर्च दे देन दे सुख पाया इफ वी आर स्पेंडिंग दैट मनी फॉर गुड वर्क्स फॉर हर वर्क्स हर मींस गॉड्स वर्क्स दैट इज देन आवर हेल्थ इज देन आवर वेल्थ इज बिकमिंग सैक्रेट वेल्थ एज वी सी tan di seva has been started by basically from shri guru nanak sahib ji himself his father gave him 20 rupees and asked him to do a business then what guru ji did guru ji helped or guru ji provided food to hungry saints and then came back to his house he started this langar with rupees 10 so this act of service left a mark on generations to come and till date we are witnessing the effects whenever one visit a gurudwara they will always get a free food it's because of the time when guru nanak sahib ji started this langar with rupees 20 so still it's going on still it's part of every gurudwara you can go and have food free food no one will ask you even how much are you going to pay how much you are putting some amount are you putting 
some amount in golak in donation box or not no one even ask you you may visit you may go and have food so it's also started by shri guru nanak sahib ji himself har arth jo kharch de dende sukh paya now we may think we are doing all those things still we did not get happiness this may come we just try to understand three different aspects tan di seva man di seva tan di seva we may be performing all those things still we are not happy so now what could be the reason let's understand with a small story of shri guru nanak sahib ji guru nanak sahib ji went to sangladeep shri lanka there was a king named shivnab he met with guru nanak sahib ji and guru nanak sahib ji said i am here to take something from you then king said okay i am ready to give you what do you want guru nanak sahib ji said i want whatever belongs to you he put some money next to guru ji then guru ji said it's not your money earlier your father was the owner of this wealth before that your grandfather was so it's not your money i want whatever belongs to you then he said okay i'm ready to give my heart then guru ji said your heart is also not with you it's going somewhere else round and round right left up down in all those east west south north is not here so i don't want it your mind your heart is your mind is honor not you so i don't want this i want whatever is belongs to you and if you are the owner of that thing then only i'll accept it then he said okay take my body then again guru ji smiled it's not possible it's not your body you cannot control it will become old older it will die if it's in your hand you will never get older you will never die but it's not in your hands i want whatever is belongs to you and if you are the owner then he said i don't know i thought i am the owner of tan man tan but you are saying i am not owner so i don't know tan man tera tan pi tera tu thakur swami prab mera then guru ji said again and again you are saying i have money i have body i have everything actually you don't have anything just i is yours you are just saying you are the owner ego is yours proud proud is yours so you can give me this thing kabir mera mujh mein kich nahi jo kich hai so tera tera tujhko saumpte kya lag gaya mera so then that king said tera tera everything is yours i'm not owner of anything then what happened kabir tu tu karta tu hua mujh mein raha na so these kind of reasons because of those we are not able to attain whatever we want so we need to take care if we are performing seva still we are not getting peace in our life then we need to make sure we are not doing these things in our life awareness medicine helps us to cure if we take care about few things as well दे दे मंग सहसा गुणा सोब करे संसार समटाइम्स वी परफॉर्म सेवा सो दैट पीपल कैन प्रेस सोब प्रेस करे संसार सो वी आर नॉट परफॉर्मिंग बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू वी आर जस्ट परफॉर्मिंग सो दैट वी कैन हियर प्रेस दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम अनदर प्रॉब्लम देखा देखी सब करे मनमुख बूझ न पाए जस्ट टू शो ऑफ i have donated this much amount in gurudwara sahib even people wants their name on those things that this table belongs to me this fan belongs to me i have donated this thing so they want their name as well so that everyone can be sure or they can tell everyone yes i have done this 
the truth is dekha dekhi sab kare man mukh bujh na paaye this is a trap sometimes we just get caught in that we need to take care of this so how can we take care of these things if we can apply seva kari je kich hove apna i can do seva if something belongs to me but everything is yours seva kari je kich hove apna i can perform seva if something belongs to me jio pend tumhara this body this mind health wealth everything is given by you so if we can keep these things in our mind then may our ego will not come this is possible aap ho kachu na hoye prab nadar ne hal liya i cannot do anything aap ho from me kachu na hoye nothing can be done by my side prab nadar ne hal liye everything is just your grace whatever i am doing it's just your grace as maharaja ranjit singh put all the gold at golden temple harimandar sahib but what did he write you took the service from me from the servant thanks to you but what we say i am the one who is donating everything i am the one who is doing the seva no i am not doing you are taking service from me prab nadar ne hal it's just your grace i am thankful to you काल खाए सेवा करे गुरु उपदेश अवेश विशेख है सो दिस इज द उपदेश ऑफ गुरु जी दैट वी नीड टू टेक केयर बट वन मोर सेवा दैट वी डिड नॉट एड हियर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज मा प्यो पर हर करे पूज देवी देव न सेव कमाने इफ यू आर डूइंग ऑल काइंड ऑफ सेवा विद इन और आउटसाइड द गुरुद्वारा बट नॉट टेकिंग केयर ऑफ आवर फैमिली देन we are again on the wrong path we got trap we got trap ma pyo par har don't leave your family parents should not leave their child their children child or children also make sure they must take care of their family you may help your mother in household things you may help your father in any business in any shop or anywhere at least you can just sit with him ask how was your day you can give your time that is also seva you can ask do you need something do you need my help help your mom in the kitchen help your mom in cleaning utensils help your father in doing any other things you can help your parents that is very much important and parents also need to take care of their child then actually charity begins at home we can perform seva outside the home if we are performing inside and it is very very important charity begins at home we must start it from our house from our family from our children from our neighbor family relatives we must take care about all those things ma pyo par har kare pooj devi devna sev kamani then there is no use of any kind of any other seva if we are not taking care of our family as well so if we can manage to do all those things then what will we attain sa seva kiti safal hai jit sat gur ka man manne then god will be happy by this seva not dekha dekhi di seva from your heart taking care of your family your community everyone even if it's bird animal or your friends family even your enemies as by kanaiya used to take care so this kind of seva without any fruit jit sat gur ka man manya ta paap ka samal panne all your sins will be vanished even in today morning we discussed god don't give whatever i deserve god did not give me what i deserve i committed a lot of sins and crimes but god did not punish me he always forgive me again and again i deserve but still 
he he forgive me he just gives gives and forgives we gets gets and forgets so we must remember and meditate and if we can perform seva in these ways then all sins will be eradicated seva karat hoy nah kami tisko hot prapat swami if there are no more wishes then we can attain or if we or then we can be one with the god that is possible but seva karat hoy nah kami easy to say very easy to listen but while performing without keeping wishes very hard but we can practice so these things that we need to take care of so that we un- try to understand today seva means we are helping someone in any possible way maybe that is related to knowledge finance physically mentally everywhere or we can save serve in gurudwara outside the gurudwara must take care of our family charity begins at home tan man tan di seva so don't doesn't matter even if we have money or not but make sure we can perform selfless service that then we will be accepted by god and it's not very hard it's not impossible but we must try to walk on this path at least if we are aware then we can concentrate on those things and we can get rid of our problems so i just wish we all can do or we all can perform selfless service but it will start from we can say selfish selfish service to selfless service is our motive we perform seva with selfishness so selfish service to we need to reach to the goal selfless service so in the beginning definitely we will think about a lot of things i want to get this or that but okay but we must keep moving so may god bless us all with all these things so that we can attain these qualities so thank you very much to everyone you gave your precious time and request to you all upcoming sunday on 15th of may we have a special samvad program on sarhind fate how did badda bahadur won the sarhand and he started his own coins his own stamp his own calendar and he declared now khalsa rule has arrived now and then he established khalsa rule sikh empire so that was followed by later by by maharaja ranjit singh so we will try to understand few aspects about that as well so request you all must join on sunday 4:30 to 5:30 4:30 to 5:30 pm so it's going to be with gyani gurjinder singh and apinder singh so now i turn over the floor to entire sangat if you have any other gurbani lines in your mind or according to your understanding if you want to share something want to contribute something so i would request you even i would i will really appreciate if you'll contribute in your own words so now i'm giving you the option you can unmute yourself and share your point of view and thank you very much once again for your precious time now i turn over the floor to entire sangat wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fatih Hanji. Yes, I have given the option. You can unmute yourself. Would you like to share something? Anyone or everyone? Yes. Hanji. Yes, Sadeep ji. Hey, why did you come here? Why did you keep it? Why did you keep it, Sadeep? Uh, Satwinder is a very good lecture. You covered many points about seva, and with quotations from Gurbani, and with examples. So, at the end of the day, as you said, charity must begin at home, and then out to the world. And the charity or the seva that we do must be from the bottom for our or from our heart, and we should not expect. any returns or rewards 
that will be the true seva. So that is should be our goal in life. Thank you, Ji. Why Guru Ji Ka Khalsa? Why Guru Ji Ki Fatih? Thank you very much, Hardeep Ji, for your contribution. Thank you very much, Ji. Hanji Kartar Ji, would you like to share something? Why Guru Ji Ka Khalsa? Why Guru Ji Ki Fatih, Master Ji? Why Guru Ji Ki Fatih, Ji? Beautiful lecture, beautiful examples, like Panji said. It was really very eye-opening. But I like your last part where you say charity begins at home because many people forget that. The charity is not at home, but the charity is done outside to show off, like you said, to get praises for it to be done in the eyes of the public. And rarely we see a person who does seva and not mention it. Usually we see people doing seva and then they will go around boasting and mentioning that we did seva. Even in a normal talk, they will try to bring in the subject to let people know that yes, I have done this seva. So it is very rare. With all the examples that you have given, I think besides this, if we can give someone a smile in the morning or wish somebody in the morning, start the day with a smile, a touch on the shoulder, a hug to someone who maybe is, you know, having some misery going on in life, or we can help to lift the spirits of a human or give up our seat to someone or help someone get up. I think that is also seva, besides all the seva that you mentioned, that is also seva because it will really lift the spirit of the person in front of you when you do that. And I think that is more important. And of course, the taking care of the parents is very important because there are many, many parents who have been left aside and the children have forgotten them. I have seen that in my work. So it is really very sad, very sad. And that is very true. I think people have just forgotten that charity starts from home. I have a little story to tell my personal experience to share with everyone. I was out at the temple program with a very close friend. After finishing it, we were walking back. I felt very nauseous, very giddy, and I just sat down on the foot, footpath. I started vomiting. Oh. All I needed from my friend was maybe some comforting words, a packet of tissue, or just hold my hand, or let tell me that, you know, you will be okay. No, she just walked away. Oh my God. She went home. Oh. And she called me after one hour to ask me how I was. And I oh. told her, I'm alive. Wow. But I also realized something. That she can be a friend, but she can never be a friend in need. So there are such people around. Yes, today's subject, I hope many people who are in the class will listen and share it. And understand what actually really seva means something to be done wholeheartedly, compassionately, without looking for any gains, any praise, or without boasting. With sage, santok, and sat. That I think is what seva should be. Not with duality, where you show the public something, and you show your true self and selfishness when you are not in the eyes of the public. That is one life we must get out of it. Beautiful subject, well explained. I loved it. Thank you very much, Master Ji. Thank you very much for your kind words and sharing your personal experience. And I really agree. Even with our words, we can make someone's day or even with our harsh word, we can ruin someone's day as well. So be polite, be humble with everyone and you can spread happiness in your all over the world. Thank you very much for your contribution, Kartar Kurz. Thank you very much, Master Ji. Thank you. Haan ji, Har Dayal ji, or 
Tanwanji maybe. So would you like to share something? Uh, yeah, the, you had the lecture was extremely good, uh, bringing out all these points. Maybe some of the points you brought up. Uh, when I was young, I did not know that when you do seva, you must not go around boasting about it. And I'm sure, you know, without knowing, I must have said, oh, I've done this, I've done that. But uh, as I grew up, I then come to know that that is wrong. So a lot of people maybe are doing uh, seva without knowing, that, uh, without knowing that they shouldn't uh, go around posting about it. Once they know, they won't do it. And the, the next thing is about uh, uh, Pan Vikartar's uh, experience in Singapore. I'm shocked at uh, the way other people down there behave. Down here in Australia, my God, these people are so good. They help, you know, they don't know who you are. They don't care. Anyone who falls, anyone who has any problem, they will go out of their way to help that person. And we've lived here for you know, almost 40 years. And we have seen that again and again. Uh, anytime, you know, they are very nice people in Australia. I must say that the Australians. And now and then the others who come here, like uh, who have settled here, they learn the same thing and they do exactly what they see the Australians doing. So this society, you would be very happy if you came here. <laughs> and if you had, you know, like Pandi Kartar was vomiting, there'll be three or four surrounding her. They will even ring for the ambulance. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's my, uh, my sharing of my views. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tanwanji, for sharing your views and contributing in today's lecture. Thank you very much. Hanji, any other Sangat member who wants to share something? Hanji Palji, you are unmuted. Wahi Guruji ka khalsa, wahi Guruji ki fateh. I think it was a beautiful lecture on service, Seva. And um, I want to share something uh, that came to my mind as the last two speakers were sharing about uh, their personal experiences in Singapore. But at the same time, the auntie G from Australia said maybe the community is different there. And I thank you for sharing so many insights um, about Seva. But I think maybe as a Sikh community, we also need to learn from the Australians, like the last auntie G has shared with us, that maybe as a small community, we should also expand the outlook of Seva uh, beyond the walls of the Sikh religion or the Gurdwara Sabs or our own families itself. Because Pagat Friji says, duk mujiko, but uh, duk sabaya jag, charke dekhya kar ag. These problems that I'm going to just share quickly, um, maybe it's not just in Singapore, but the entire world has them. And Gurbani reminds us again and again that Seva Saad, Maybe we fail to look at the bigger community. And if we, a small community of Sikhs, can slowly start to learn the principle of seva and not just within the walls of our homes or our Gurdwara Sabs, but expand it to the general community outside, then maybe whether it's number one, the problem with financial distress or low wages even in this country. Number three, inequality in the children's development. Number four, we are having a lot of caregiver support problems especially by 20, 30, 30% of our population is going to be aged. Number five, you will be sad to know that there are more than 1,000 homeless people that are also in this first world country. Number six, housing um, issues that a lot of families face. Number seven, lack of social participation, maybe because of shutdowns during COVID uh, and things like that. But number eight is the most difficult pain uh, on a larger community, not just the langar in the Gurdwara Seb, but food insecurity securities uh, and the poor, poor new nutrition that generally people in our country face. I'm not even talking about India per se or any other third world country. I'm saying as a Sikh community, maybe a um, wonderful lesson from seva and service we talk about, but that 70% of people that we surveyed who do not even have food support and they live in one room flats or look at the 50,000 uh, housewives 
uh, households, rather not housewives, uh, households that are living in rental uh, flats in Singapore and more than a thousand people, like I mentioned, who are homeless. And if you talk about housewives, uh, not just housewives, but women in general, uh, more than nearly 291,000 of them, they have to actually stop work because of caregiving responsibilities and that kind of seva to take care of their elders and their parents. And you'll be sad to know that even in younger children, because of nearly 44 to 53 percent um, of poorer families, their children are not developing very well into adults in our first world country. So I think Auntie G, who shared the Australian experience versus what we in Singapore, uh, Auntie G uh, mentioned, she went through personally. Maybe it is time as a Sikh community, we start to expand the concept of seva uh, to outside the walls of our homes and our Gurdwara Sebs. Because I'll end off with one beautiful Shabbat. It says, which dunia save kamaye. Dunya is not just the Sikh community and the seva within our walls, uh, but maybe Sarbadda Pala, the concept of Kornanak Baha Ludaye Sarbadda Pala is something we should also look at as a beautiful community uh, who has such beautiful principles like seva. I thank you once again for this opportunity to share and maybe learn which Dunya save Kamaye Ta Darge Besan Paye. Thank you, Chief. Vahigur Ji ka khalsa, Vahigur Ji ki fateh. Vahigur Ji ki fateh. Thank you very much, Pal Ji. You always contribute something in our lectures. So, really thankful to you. Really appreciate. Thank you very much, Pal Ji. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Thank you. Any other Sangat member who wants to share their views? Thank you, Manjit. Thank you. Vahigur Ji ka khalsa, Vahigur Ji ki fateh. Whilst... Acknowledging Paul Singh's uh, uh, views, I would beg to differ. Uh, given the size of our community in Singapore, and uh, Penji Qatar and the others will, uh, will also add to this, so much of the seva that is being done by the Sikh community is not confined to the Sikh community. Every morning, Meals are being prepared at all the gurdwaras that are being sent out to Willing Hearts. Now, Willing Hearts is a secular body, and all this langar that is prepared goes to everyone in Singapore, regardless of race, language, ethnic group. It goes to all the, 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 the one, one room homes. It goes to people who need the meals. So there are collection centers where these people go to collect the meals. So that is the, the community's participation in Willing Hearts. In terms of uh, reaching out to the elderly, Penji Katarkar will also attest to this, that it is not only confined to the Sikh community, Within the Sikh community, where we start small, we have Suneri Saheli, Suneri Pal, yes. where our elderly, our senior ladies and men who are confined to the home, that there is a welfare program for them. I will not go into detail. Um, <clears throat> there's, it's very easy to find out about Suneri Saheli and Suneri Pal. <clears throat> Over and above that, for the children, there's education. So I'll, I'll just stop there. Uh, perhaps what needs to be done is maybe more communication, more uh, knowledge of what the Sikh community, a very small community, is doing, not only confined within the Gurdwaras. And the other thing, other point I wanted to add was that uh, this morning in our class, you said that why grew the subkush, you know, whatever is happening in this world, whether it is uh, evil or, or whether, I mean, whatever is happening in this world, there is a reason for it. So when we see poverty in the world, when we see someone in need, Gurbani says, then their, their compassion wells up within us. <clears throat> yes. 
so then what has happened is Ygru has given us so many opportunities to do seva. And it's a matter of how you look at it. Instead of questioning why that person is in such dire straits, why is that person born without limbs? Why did God do this? Why did God do that? Instead of questioning, exercise compassion, then tell yourself, I'm this person is actually doing me seva because by being in this condition, he is actually, I am the one who needs the sympathy. I am the one who needs the help because then I, he has given me an opportunity to exercise compassion. So um, <clears throat> that's all I wanted to add. Sorry, I'm, I'm, uh, my voice is not so good today. Why Guruji ka khausa? Why Guruji ki pati? Yeah, I really appreciate even although you were not feeling well or still you contributed and share your point of view. And it's really helpful for all of us. And really appreciate. Thank you very much for your contribution, Manjeev Prasad. Thank you. Hanji Kuldeep Ji, you are unmuted. Would you like to share something? Hanji, Vai Guruji ka khalsa, Vai Guruji ki swate. Yes, it was a very, very good, uh, interesting, enlightening uh, lecture we had today. And you were doing the seva of explaining Shabda to us. So that was also a great seva. Uh, yes, our friends and uh, peers have expressed a lot of their own personal experiences and what they feel and think about seva. Trying to look at the deeper meaning of seva, I was asking myself, what is seva? And what does Gurbani or Guru Shabda, what is Gurbani telling us about seva? seva? What is manatana tanadi seva? We always say mandi seva, tanadi seva, tanadi seva, you know, mandinal karna. Apne body denal seva karni, paise donation karke seva karni. It's easily said, you know, it's very easy to say these things. And it's very easy to do these things. But actually, I feel that, you know, when you say goodbye, when you give a shabda to somebody, that is also a seva. I am trying to expand on that. What is Gurbani actually telling us to do? You know, so I feel I, I just made a few points. That what Gurbani is teaching us about seva is this. It is from within us. It is seva from the heart. It, is, it should be our first nature. It should be done with full sincerity, no ulterior motives, for all humanity, with full humility, done out of kindness, out of compassion, the Sarbadda Palak, uh, concept, okay? So when you were saying about charity begins at home, yes, okay, charity, yes, you, you start doing that, the practice, the, the first step is towards charity begins at home, you know, helping your household, helping your family, and the other step is, you know, doing seva in the Gurdwara. But actually, I would say that when you say charity begins at home, I like to have another version of home. That home is not a physical home, but the home inside us. It is the home where the seva di pavna should arise. That feeling pure, unadulterated, simply it should be our first nature, reflex action, and that is the best of human beings. I think Gurbani is trying to tell us trying to create this godliness in us where our first nature becomes serving everybody else, you know, and ourselves second. So to me, this is the concept of seva that Gurbani is trying to tell us about. And that's what it means when it says one Shabda is equivalent to seven golden temples. So... And we have had many, many examples, of you, as you quoted, you know, Bhagatapuran Singh, Pai Kanaya, you know, even Pai Kanaya, if you really think about it in depth, Pai Kanaya came up with that humane, sincere, 
godliness within him and he did this seva of giving water to a you know a, a dying soldier who was just you know thirsting and his last you know la- breath of life and he was getting the water be it enemy or friend so to me that is the concept of seva coming right from within first nature with all our heart true sincerity that's the godliness which good bani is trying with his many many verses and quotations which you quoted pal singh quoted everyone quoted i think it is that thing within us we should develop and that comes out as our first nature that is seva whether you do it with your man whether you do it with your tan or whether you do it with your tan vai guru ji ka khalsa vai guru ji ki fate thank you very much kuldeep ji very beautifully and you explained different aspect so it's really really helpful for all of us thank you very much kuldeep ji for your contribution thank you ji hanji any other sangat member who wants to share something then you can unmute yourself yes so request you all we all can unmute ourselves and we all can say gur fateh all together ji so request you all please unmute yourself thank you very much once again for joining and giving a precious time wahe guru ji ka khalsa wahe guru ji ka khalsa thank you thank you jani ji thank you master ji thank you